Launchers are broken, and here is how you can abuse them. First, this is how you properly take a launcher. Stand as far back as you can, then land on the slanted bit. You can slide off and maintain a lot of speed. This is called the launcher slide. This trick does not work on all launchers though. For my testing, it works best on small and medium distance launchers. For small launchers, it always works. Medium launchers, it works if the launcher you are jumping to is higher than the launcher you left. And long distance launchers don't work at all. The only way you will know for sure if a launcher slide will work is if you test it. The reason this trick doesn't always work is when your velocity when hitting the slant is too steep an angle, the game's fall stun takes effect. But if the angle is shallower, the fall stun does not take effect. The next trick is called the launcher tap straight. It's pretty self-explanatory. Right before getting launched, you need to slide jump and then tap strafe in one direction. This can be used to completely evade enemies chasing you, or just getting some insane repositioning. The launcher tap strafe is a little harder than it might seem. Even if you know how to tap strafe already, it is pretty tricky. In order for this to work, your tap strafe has to be really hard. What I mean by that is you have to scroll a lot, as well as crank your mouse pretty far in the direction you're trying to go. With some practice, I believe in you guys, you can do it, you can figure it out. If you don't know how to tap strafe already, I actually have a tap strafe tutorial that I'll link in the top right and at the end of the video, so check that out. The last thing you need to be conscious about is how the launcher responds to various abilities. Some abilities do some weird things, and I'll go over the most useful ones here. First, Horizon's passive was practically made for these launchers. When combined with other skills like tap strafing, it can result in some insanely ridiculous movement. So, if you Q with Wraith before going up the jump, you just zoom forward. See that? We'll see now from his perspective. Like tap strafing, this can be used to throw off enemies, and used with tap strafing, you can get some pretty nasty repositions. That's all I have for you today, but I do have one question. Do the zip lines feel weird to you guys this season? Like, there's nothing in the patch notes, but in these buildings, I feel like I'm double interacting whenever I try zip jumping. Tutorial in the description, by the way. If this is happening to you, let me know in the comments because I feel like I'm going crazy and I want to know that I'm not all alone in this. Anyway, hope this helps, good luck in the new map, and have fun getting thirded by prowlers because that seems like all that's happening to me nowadays. Why would you kill? He's <laughs> <laughs> whistling the whole time. <laughs>